In this video, I will provide you with something that seems to be another problem for do-it-yourselfers, and that will be the difference between a horizontal and a vertical plumbing waste and drain connection. So let's go ahead and orient ourselves here with a situation where we have a toilet flange. Toilet will connect to this and a bathroom sink and how something like this would look if we remove all of the framing and the foundation to take a look at our plumbing pipe. So here we have a vertical pipe connecting to a horizontal pipe. That makes sense. However, it gets a little more confusing when we start to angle or tilt some of these fittings a few degrees. And what we have here would be a wet vent connection. This is actually the vent for the toilet, and this is the vent for the sink. So the water is going to go down the sink, down the toilet's vent. This is why this is a wet vent. The reason why this needs to be horizontal is to allow air flow on top of the water. The water is going to flow near the bottom of the pipe, which will allow the air for the vent to flow above the pipe. However, it gets a little confusing once it gets to this area here. And I'm not going to go into a lot of details on that. But this is a horizontal connection. When you have a fitting connecting horizontally or level, and of course you can look at the example here, to create a better understanding of what I'm talking about. So horizontal to horizontal means that the fitting is going to be horizontal or this part of the fitting will be level. And let's go ahead and pan out here so that you can get a better idea of where the vent is going. This part of the pipe will be going out of the top of the roof and can be plumb or vertical. This section of the pipe, wherever I'm referring to as horizontal, will need to slope towards the sewer or septic tank. And this will depend upon the pipe size. Could be anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch minimum slope per foot. Next up, let's take a look at a vertical to a horizontal pipe connection. And in this situation here, this is now the drain pipe. This is the vent for the toilet. And the building code requires it to be vertical or at the most tilted about 45 degrees. And I'm not talking about this tilt right here. This is just a way of connecting the vent to the drain pipe. You can actually use a combo sweep connector like this to connect your vent to the drain line. And as you guessed it, the vertical to horizontal will actually be vertical. And we simply rotated the fitting 90 degrees from our previous example. And I went ahead and filled this up with drainage wastewater to give you an idea of how the water will flow near the bottom, allowing the air to flow above it to prevent it from creating any type of siphoning action or siphoning any of the water out of the other fixtures traps. And the building code says that dry vents connecting to horizontal drain pipes shall connect above the center line of the horizontal drain pipe. And almost all of the plumbers that I've worked with suggest that this means this pipe right here cannot be rotated more than 45 degrees from its vertical position. However, with that said, I've actually seen plumbers rotate these pipes a lot further. I've seen them rotated just barely off of the horizontal position. So you might want to check with your local building department to see if that will be allowed in your area or allowed under certain special circumstances because there will be situations where you're going to be working in tight spaces like a floor where the floor joists might only be five and a half inches tall and this is usually where the floors get hacked up pretty bad by the plumbers if you have a little more room 11 or 12 inches you can usually make this stuff work a little bit easier so here's an example where we have a fitting at a 45 degree angle and then the vent is going up so you can see here where it's going up and above the center line of the other plumbing pipe it's connecting to. And again, the vent here is going out of the roof. And in this situation here, we have a separate vent for our toilet and a separate vent for our sink. And you can extend and modify the length of your vent pipe if it needs to go a little further so that it might be able to go up an interior or exterior wall. And in our last example here, I want to provide you with something else that plumbers do when attaching a wet vent 
to a drain pipe. You have a toilet coming up here, and when it is downstream or down from the sloping angle of the drain pipe, remember the pipe here is sloping towards the sewer or septic tank about a quarter of an inch per foot. And when you have a situation like this, you can come up with a 90 degree fitting. And I would use a sweep fitting here or a long 90 because this is going to be a wet vent here for your sink. This is going to be the sink drain to here and then the toilet drain and the sink drain from here. And then the vent for the toilet is going to go from here to here. It's going to be a wet vent. So if you're at the end of the line, you can come up with a 90. This is the only situation I've seen it happen with. Otherwise, make sure that you connect horizontal to horizontal when using a wet vent. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.